Kimberly, it's, it's an interesting dynamic here, the way that the pressure factors into all of this. What does that mean? Yeah, you know, what Nagy said is not surprising. We expected Justin Fields to be the number two in Dalton to start. But outside, to me, outside of L.A., with Matt Stafford and Sean McVay, there's a ton of pressure within Chicago on multiple levels. You have Andy Dalton saying, I fully expected that they could have taken a quarterback, which they did. This doesn't change my approach. That's all well and fine. Andy Dalton knows he's on borrow time. Now, if Andy Dalton struggles early, you know, you look at the way that schedule sets up early on, it is a tough schedule the Bears have. So if he struggles, is the front office feeling the pressure to start Justin Fields maybe earlier than they should? Are they pressured to start him, uh, wait until the bye and see what Dalton does? Um, and then is Justin Fields ready when he does get on the field? You know, I just think you've got a front office that clearly is about preserving their job security and also trying to develop a young kid, sometimes those two just do not go hand in hand. Well, that's exactly right. And I think that's the concern that you have if you're a fan of that team. Jeff, what do you mm -hmm. see? Yeah, there's no preservation. This is a saving job for, for the jobs of, <laughs> of uh, Nagy and Pace. They, they understand. But, but here's my thing. You know, Justin Fields, you go up to get him at 11. He is your answer, right? Like, this has to be the guy. You, you've kind of put your career on it now. When you see what happened with Trubisky, he's now gone. You bring Fields in. You have to show the organization you're trending in the right direction. I don't think Andy Dalton does that to you. Listen, he was, he was in Dallas with a very good offense, and it's kind of just mediocre, right? He's, what, 14 touchdowns, mm -hmm. eight interceptions, kind of the, the way his career has gone. Will he be more stable early on than Justin Fields? Probably. But does he bring the excitement and the ability to really advance that Matt Nagy offense like you know you like Justin Fields no way so I'm going with Justin Fields we're going to ride through the tough times together but ultimately try to show the organization and our fan base hey we're trending in the right direction with Justin Fields he's going to be our, our franchise guy he's the player that makes the difference for us He's riding Justin Fields. Who are you riding? I'm going with Justin Fields, too. I mean, that's why they moved up to draft him. I mean, he's going to be the guy that saves yes, Matt Nagy's job. I mean, if Justin Fields doesn't start the majority of the games this upcoming season, then you're probably talking about Ryan Pace, their general manager, and Matt Nagy looking for another job in the 2022 offseason. So, to me, Andy Dalton is one of those guys that can do a good job when everything around him is ideal. You saw that last year in Dallas. But that's not going to be the case with the Chicago Bears. Their offensive line is shaky, that's and right. their skill position players leave something to be desired. You need a quarterback that can be dynamic, somebody that can offer you the opportunity for off-schedule plays, second reaction plays, being able to get more explosion in your offense. To me, that's Justin Fields. That's not Nick Foles. That's not Andy Dalton. Matt Nagy mm -hmm. needs to stop playing himself. They've got to get <laughs> Matt, They've got to get Justin Fields ready to go. If he's not ready right now, you that's make right. sure that you get him ready to go by week one. You build an offense around what the kid does well. Right, we'll see how quickly they are willing to make that change. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.